Hey, I'm Brandon Stiles, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add Cloudinary, which is a responsive image CDN, to your WordPress. So this is going to really speed up your WordPress website because you're offloading all the images and videos and PDFs and files you have on there and sending it to Cloudinary, which is magically optimized to make your site load faster and all that good stuff. So I've created a web page using Divi, here it is, and I've purposefully used big pictures. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it right now and how it is, and then we're going to add Cloudinary to our WordPress website and upload our pictures there and then take a look at how the speed is afterwards, all right? So first, let's check the speed of this web page. So I'm going to paste it in here to GT Metrics, and I'm going to run a little test. Let's see how we do. So here is our web page performance, FD, not looking really good. It's an eight second load time and 11.3 megabyte page. That's really huge. Remember, we wanna get that under two, but maybe even one if we can to get it to load fast enough. And as you can see, the biggest problem here are these huge images, they are killing us. So let's take the images we have now and let's optimize this page using Cloudinary. And it's really easy, all right? So we're going to go to cloudinary.com and you're gonna sign up for a free account. You get a thousand what's called transformations for a free account. Now what is a transformation? A transformation counts as a few different things. One transformation equals one upload, so every time you upload a picture, that's a transformation. Every time you do something to a picture, like if you crop it, or if you make it wider or, or taller, that's a transformation. Now, one thing to do is if you make all the transformations at one time, that still just counts for one transformation. So if you look at a picture and make it thinner and refresh it, and then make it taller and refresh it, and then you put a watermark on it and refresh it. That's three transformations. Whereas if you did that all at one time, it would just count for one. So maybe have an idea of what you wanna do if you wanna stay under that thousand credit mark going into Cloudinary. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in, you're gonna sign up for free. You're gonna put in your information right here. Pick out your interest. I just usually click other, and then we're gonna create our account. I don't care if you see this one that I'm about to show you, I'm gonna delete it anyway, so don't worry about that, and don't be trying to take my stuff either. Create our account, and now we are going to be taken to the Cloudinary console. It's gonna look a little intimidating, but it's really not. A lot of this stuff you can just pretty much ignore. Again, Cloudinary has kind of put this together and made a WordPress plugin that is pretty easy to use. So we're getting our welcome emails there. We're going to click out of this. We don't care about that now. And right now we have no transformation. So we haven't uploaded pictures or made it wider or, or touched the pictures at all. No videos, no bytes. And if we look up here, we still got a full 25 credits left, okay? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna click reveal right here. And this is gonna give you your environment variable, which is essentially like your personal Cloudinary URL address, let's say. You're going to highlight all of that and you're gonna come over to your WordPress install. So here we are, I'm gonna to go to plugins, we're gonna add a new plugin, and we're going to look for just the run-of-the-mill Cloudinary plugin made by Cloudinary. Now, this kind of goes a little bit against what I uh, talk about, which is find a plugin with um, really high ratings. For some reason, this Cloudinary plugin only has three and a half stars, which is not great, but I haven't personally run into any problems with it. You don't have the full functionality of Cloudinary, but you still get like 99% functionality over what you normally have. So let's install this. Just takes a second and then we're gonna activate it. Now we need to take the images we already have on our WordPress website and upload them to Cloudinary, which is actually super, super quick with this plugin. So now we need to put in that API key that we just copied. So come down here to Cloudinary, choose settings, and then just paste that guy in right there. Update it. And we have now connected our Cloudinary account to our WordPress. It was that easy, just a copy and paste job, really. You'll see a little congratulations sign there. Now we need to take the pictures we already have and upload them to Cloudinary, which is not hard at all. We come to our media library here, we select all the files, uh, I only have 37 pictures here, but if you've got a lot, come up to screen options and then change the number of items per page to a higher number. And then it's a lot quicker to do this. So we select all the pictures, like I said, come to this bulk actions thing and click upload to Cloudinary. Apply. And now all the pictures on our website are automatically being uploaded to Cloudinary and smushed and done whatever they need to do. So it's really quick and that took like 10 seconds. They're all uploaded. 17 uploaded to Cloudinary, 20 failed because of the following they were already uploaded 18 times. 
I don't know what happened there, but cool. You can tell they've been uploaded to Cloudinary if you look on the title of the image. You see this little thing at the end, the Y licks it, and here the Y L Z K Q J. Those are tags that Cloudinary adds to the end of your images and that prevents duplicate images from existing. So Cloudinary always knows which ones to pull from. Now our pictures are uploaded to Cloudinary. Let's click back over real quick and make sure that they got there. So I'm gonna hit refresh here. And as we can see, we've got 39 transformations and that makes sense, right? Because we uploaded 38, 39 pictures and we're using 98.6 megabytes of storage. All of that is still just 1% of our 30 day quota so we're we're well under and like i said if you've got more pictures maybe you've got a big site a big e-commerce site just go to upgrade your plan and then you can choose all of these credits that you want and here's where you see the one credit equals a thousand transformations or one gigabyte of storage so on and so forth now what about videos so transformations for videos work like this every 10 frames of like a gif is going to be one credit, okay? So if your GIF is 30 frames long and you upload it to Cloudinary, that's gonna count as three credits. Now with videos, standard definition videos, every second counts as two transformations. So if you've got a 10 second standard definition video, that's gonna be 20 credits. And high definition videos, one second equals four transformations. So if you've got a 10 second video, you're using 40 transformations. So it can add up quick with the videos, but with standard images, you've got plenty of room. You can also do PDFs. Uh, one transformation for the upload of PDF, and then every 10 pages count as an additional transformation, I believe is how it works out. So you can add all kinds of stuff. So now that we've uploaded our images to Cloudinary, we've seen that they're on there, let's go ahead and run this GT Metrics performance. Again, I'm gonna click retest, and we wanna see if our page is loading faster. Dang, okay, so you can see this is huge. So our site went from, what, 11 megabytes to under one megabyte, 544 bytes, and it's only got two requests going out now, and the load time was under half a second. So Cloudinary, I would say, definitely, uh, definitely helps things out. We cut off a whole heck of a lot of load time, which is so critical when you have a website. So that's the end of the tutorial for how to do it, but let's look at a few other cool things you can do. So Cloudinary actually comes with its own media library, so if you wanted to click in here to the Cloudinary Media Library, you can see here are all your pictures right here. You can go in and you can transform, let's say, the width of this picture if you'd like to, or you can change the height. And notice when you do, over here it's changing this URL. So essentially what you're doing is to point to this new image. Cloudinary is just creating a different URL for this picture and it is serving it from there. So if I change the height to, let's say, 880, you can see down here it says H880, height 880. So it's just creating a new URL and directing it to that, which is really cool. You can also do stuff like pixels background removal, so you can actually add a subscription and Cloudinary will automatically remove the background to your image, which is cool for like product images. You can also opt for some more effects down here. You can change the opacity. You can zoom in if you want to. You can even change the effect. Maybe you want to do an artistic filter. Refresh the preview and Cloudinary will automatically adapt it and make it exactly how you want it. Obviously that looks weird because I just kind of mess with some stuff, but you get the idea. Also what's cool about the plugin is that as soon as you upload all your media library images to Cloudinary, all your images, current URLs that's on your live site right now get automatically repointed to the Cloudinary one so you don't have to do anything, it's super easy. If you wanna check out Cloudinary, click the link below. It is my affiliate link to Cloudinary. It helps me out a little bit, but it also gives you access to Cloudinary and you can try it yourself and see if it helps speed up your website. Hope it helps save your users a lot of time loading your website and it increases your conversion rates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.